Matter of fact, Orlando also averages 19 attempts. They are two of the top four teams in the league. Down quickly to John Konkak. I don't Force Hardaway to play defense. Down low to Hardaway as they try to match him up against Kendall Gill. Open man is Konkak from 17. And John has the first four points of this game. Sporadic in his three-point shooting. See some Del Curry threes probably before too long. He'll come off the bench usually the first man. Penny Hardaway with a very difficult turnaround jumper. And from two-point range is getting better with each game. Contact has four points but passes up the attempt that time. Nearly stolen by Burrell. That leaves the three. Ten plus but less than 11. And you got to give this young guy a lot of Memphis area. And with his homeboys, they went to the gym every day. He worked on his body because... Rice open for the long-range jumper. Oh, That's a three wow. from Glenn Rice. Rice Glenn, now with eight points. Glenn Rice is 42 for 90. And looking up into the quarter. And if you don't, they'll take the three right on the dead run. That's how quickly Anderson got back for the lay-in. Rebound since entering the game. Still tied at 20 with two minutes to go in the quarter. Hardaway to the hoop again. He'll go to the line again. And Man one-on-one on one from the wing. He's telling him, move out of there. Let me take him off the dribble. Because up until now, he's not getting double team. Seven points. But you know, Bob, Grant should just force him to dribble a ball from that area and, and, and chase him to the to the baseline side. Now Horace Grant backs in LJ and gets his man at him to get him to give up the ball. Here's a high screen and roll. Here's your trap. Grant will take it with two seconds left and drain it. And watch the rotation. Two on the ball. Now as it comes back, the rotator comes, but you see Grant freezes him and just shoots it right in his face. Well, he's having a banner season right now. Bowie inside. Second to MJ in points. Okay. And Bernie Hardaway. And he's, when you're averaging 11 attempts a game, 78's a nice number. Points and four rebounds off the bench for Charlotte, despite the booze. Hardaway hard to the hoop. He's got the rebound Horace Grant. On that turnaround move, Bob, I'd let him shoot that shot. As long as he doesn't beat me off the dribble. Dennis Scott with the jumper on the baseline. That's a points a game. And if you notice, a lot of good front court player. Jack runs down the loose ball to Hardaway. Magic can regain the lead here. Open man Scott. He's playing much better team defense now than they did a year ago. Hardaway on the post up. Ball. Two seconds. One. The steal. Contact contributed to it. Anderson follows nice. by the one touch from Scott. They, they mismatch and they never read it properly. Now once they get the steal, watch how Gill runs it down. Now the pass and the touch pass from Scott. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah, it's very unselfish. The building is almost quiet. It's very strange. It's actually a pretty good game, too. Contact rolls it in. Now just keep an eye on this now. Now once, there goes the double team. All right, there's Konkak going right to the front of the rim. Misses it, the free throw. Very shot of Centenary. Hornet 67, Magic 63. Grant from 18. Did it on purpose. And as you know, it was just a hard foul. And I think... In respect, putting you all the way up here, do they? I know. We're in the nosebleed section. Seats. Well, they are the enemy. Well, Mark was diagnosed four years ago with Hodgkin's disease. He had six months of chemotherapy. 11 ties and 17 lead changes in what I think has been an entertaining ball game today. Oh, 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 oh mercy. Both the free throws now. Six of ten from the line for Larry Johnson. Both teams struggling at the line tonight. Horace Grant just inside. First half. But right now he's going for the power. Magic can build a three-point lead. Charlotte led by three at the half. Now the Magic with a steal. Hardaway. Now just keep an eye. This was a screen and roll and just a lazy pass. Told you Penny Hardaway is eighth in the league in steals, second in scoring. Now that's a good foul because he's going to lay it up. Force him to make the foul shots. Only had seven turnovers in this quarter of... In the crowd, he gets one out of two. All right. Minnesota leading the Clippers and Chicago in front of San Antonio. 
26 points for him. And Orlando holding them off. Now you're looking at a team that really grew up when they were four and out in the NBA Finals last year. Hardaway puts the cherry on the Sunday and for now, Charlotte. In the last four and a half minutes. Well, as he has done all year long, Penny Hardaway stepping up. We talked about it at the beginning of the game. You came in here today. This team 16 and 4 got Shaq. Why have you been so effective? Well, I think the reason why we've been so successful right now is because we're playing together. Uh, with Shaq out, we knew that we had to step our game up a whole other level if we wanted to win. And right now, the entire team is doing that. You scored 28 points. Dennis Scott was hot in the fourth quarter, but defensively, you shut down Larry Johnson and Glenn Rice in the fourth quarter. What was the difference? Well, at halftime, Coach told us if, uh, if anybody was going to beat us, let Kendall Gill and all the other guys beat us and not Larry Johnson and Glenn Rice. So in the second half, we tried to focus more on those two guys and, and tried to shut them down as a team. This is your team now. You run the post, you run the team. When Shaq comes back, how will the roles have to be redefined? Well, you know, when Shaquille gets back, that's our number one option. I mean, he was our leading scorer and our superstar before he left. He's going to be the same when he gets back. I mean, everybody's going to continue to play hard and we're going to still win. Congratulations, undefeated at home without him. Who would have thought it? All right, thanks a lot. All right. Back to you, Bob. All right.